reminds me of school. School? How? Wow. So we saw the light and we hollered down, but I think Luke was already mentally preoccupied with what was going on by the resort, so I don't think anyone even really knows that there's a light, that there are people down there. I need to tell somebody. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wilson. I haven't seen one of these since. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. What a funny the little guy. Strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, scoot my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But hmm. the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. It's foggy out there. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. I... I have to... You warn... knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Can we put this on the tree? <laughs> Spending our time doing... We have to... Oh, the stairs are back there. We have to tell them. It's important. I mean, why do they have us climb up there? Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? Oh. Oh, well, they do know, okay. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? What do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be I hiding didn't talk something. To him. We mostly talked about Kenny. Or did I? Kenny oh. is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Walter's the cook. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. She's probably gonna have that baby soon, I think. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I don't know. Yeah, that makes two of us. 
I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Yeah, it's I don't okay. want to be rude, but can I? That kind of stuff makes me a bit. She's gonna be a runner. It's not his. Whose is it then? Alvin finds out he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know. I hate hey. it. I love you too. You get some rest now. Sarah wanted an angel. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where oh, is Matthew? Please don't tell me. Oh, he me. likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. Please don't tell me that's the guy who he got be shot. Back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Oh. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Sorry, Kenny. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? They seem very accommodating for a bunch of people in a big house. Well, it's been a while, but he seems a little... different. Yeah, well, that happens. I mean, guy could have seen all kinds of shit. No sense jumping to conclusions. Yeah, I'm still not his biggest Walter fan, Walter was telling but... me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. He lost it a little after that. Lost it how? Well, he drinks. Oh. Well. <laughs> more than that. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition, 
Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah, it's in the north. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winters so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Kenny, stop. But- Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Hey, Kenny's still a bit impulsive. Pass me that can, Duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Cutting Listen, relationships are like plants. any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. Not everyone's All like war that. is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Mm -hmm. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Hello? Miss? Hello. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Bonnie then we'll have, have to family. get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. 
Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put, I'll be right back. Don't tell them you have plenty. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Bonnie lied. She doesn't have a kid. Is she saying Put that... Time. Becca's... Don't freak out. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. I knew it. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. I won't say anything. Okay, okay, good. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. Oh. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? It's, it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, alright? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. I don't want to not tell him, but I'm pretty sure he's going to flip out and ruin it for everyone. It's not there. It's gone. No, 